is all entirely escaped in the rock, and this mark will project with this. Oh, right. Yes. yes, he was telling us that he, he was just in design here. So that this so the hotel was on top, and then they... No, the, well, the, um, how do you call that? The grotte, the canteen, the um, cellar, so, yes, always existed. Right. Since the building was brought up. Yes. Because it was common in the use to have Ooh. cellars under the buildings. Yeah. But it was absolutely nothing of what you see now. I mean, yeah. it was tunnels, yes. narrow, yes. small, there was just earth, rock, and uh, little puddles. And so and that was it. Marco turned it into this. Marco, yes. Uh, ah. did the project. It was. Uh, it took five years yes. to restore it, right. and uh, they brought out of here yeah. 1,300 trucks of rock <gasps> in five years. Wow! Oh, this is exciting. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so glorious. Oh, Hi, this, this is huh? marvelous. So when we see Marco. And how old is the building? Uh, well, I know the activity started in 1882. Uh -huh. It started as a restaurant, so it took about 131 years. But actually, I don't know where exactly the year, maybe Gabriel knows, yeah. the exact year when the building was actually built up. Okay. This is a glorious. Big, big. And Marco designed, uh, well, he, he did the project uh, on the cellar, he shows all the materials, everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, Marco mentioned that, um, that with the day we met him, he said he'd just come out of uh, Castel Gandalf, the, the, the Apostolic Palace there, where uh, and uh, I got the impression that he was doing some work on the inside. I don't know about actually mm. his sort of personal things out of the restaurant. Right. Oh, no, just All the things he sort of follows. Mm. Yeah, I know he does things for. <laughs> what? You're covering me. I'm covering you as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is glorious. Yeah. 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 How many work on? Actually, three. Uh -huh. For the Jack Hampton? Huh? Yes. Three uh, men uh, who live here, they are from the place. Right. And uh, they've always been doing this all their life, almost. Yes. And then, depending on what was to do, of course, there was a sort of other equipe, yes. I don't know if you say squad or team, yes. let's say. 
depending on the things. But mainly it was the three men. The three, the overseers. Yes. yes. Um, where are you from? Australia. Oh, so it's very mm -hmm. And Anna is uh, from Germany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were out in Germany last week. And, uh, mm -hmm. so Seems to be George is coming back now, and he may be with him. But uh, you talking about the the Benedict? Benedict was the You know, at the very beginning, I thought uh, you could be probably Benedict, just a name. I mean, just a coincidence. No, no. I thought you were coming along to to your your friend. I don't know, and and as you were speaking, I mean, I said, oh, I said no, they're talking about the Pope. Yes, yeah, yeah. Then it, we, uh, well, I, I I put this two together just before we came out tonight. But this is all the, uh, all the, the evidence, the communication and the evidence of where it all started with Benedict for the weeks before we got it. This was actually his Facebook page. But um, Father Giuseppe set it up for him when he came into retirement. And so this is part of the communication. So we've actually got boxes like that of it. But uh, after the meeting with uh, Francis, Francis, on the Francis told me if we come to Rome, we'll be arrested. Yeah. That's what uh, Francis told me, yeah. personally. And that's that's the night that uh, the, the investigators of Francis shut down Benedict's Facebook. It was his personal um, email communicating with us. This is their communication telling us what they've done to Father Giuseppe. Father Giuseppe has disappeared. And we were told that he was actually murdered by Francis's investigators. So this is serious business. And very serious business. We, oh, I'm getting all yeah. shivers. It's a very serious business. Yes, yes we... See, I've been advising the Pope on... We've on been policy. asking him many, many things. Okay. So I'm an expert on this sort of thing. And um, in, in Revelation uh, 1911, it talks about seven popes or kings, right? Mm -hmm. So that is when the Vatican became a city-state. Mm -hmm. right? There's been seven popes. And it says that one pope will be the eighth pope. Right? That's not Francis. Can, Francis is illegal. The, right? the conclave was, the conclave was totally illegal. Right? It's set up. Right? This is beast. This is antichrist. Right? So I told Francis, I said, uh, you're out of here. Francis intent Francesco, right? Francesco. 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 Okay. The pope yes. Francesco. Yes. So we told Benedict right, that whoever walks out of the conclave is the Antichrist. Totally. That's it. We're totally set up. And it's totally set up. So the Jews are behind it. Yeah. Uh, the Jews have sniffed their way right into the Vatican. Yeah. It's terrible. It's it. Below the Vatican, they've got a 24 or 25 rooms, and it's all ded dedicated to the devil, with Lucifer uh, on the wall. Sacrificing all kinds of well, horrible things that have been Vatican. going on over the years. So, well, Benedict didn't know that. He didn't know anything about anything like that because Benedict he wasn't computer man. savvy. He knew a about man, computers. A man, a beautiful, a beautiful pure man. man with no knowledge of what's really been happening, not only in his church, but in the world outside. And how no idea. influence. Um, yeah. <laughs> you could actually say, oh my God. Well, <laughs> Mamma Mia is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Benedict wants, wants us to notify the world through electronics. Thank 
Francesco was, was not chosen by case, and they wanted to put a figure which had to sort of uh, do something, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know to say that correctly in English, uh, change the system and try to gather mm -hmm. as much uh, young people as possible, uh -huh. because in those last years, in those last four or five years, many, many young people mm -hmm. have been Got sort of... Way. Yes, yeah, gone That's away. Right. Uh, less, uh, the, the interest was really, Dropping. really dropped. Well, have you, have you so heard of Vatican II? Are you familiar with Vatican II? Vatican II was rewritten. Uh, the Vatican I was 1,400 years old. Vatican II was written by three, you know, over three years, by 2,500 men who wrote it. And Benedict asked me what I thought of it. So I wrote in Vatican III for him. And I gave him Vatican III. And he said, this solves all the church problems. Absolutely. He's, gonna, Every he's going to make it an apostolic letter with the Vatican III involved. He gave that to Francis, and Francis said, I don't believe any of it. Rejected, and then five days later, still rejected. Still rejected. And then on, it was April the 3rd that uh, Giuseppe, Father Giuseppe, was talking to me, you know, instant message through Facebook, when the investigators for Francis kicked the door in. Kicked the door in and uh, later, the description was what happened that night when he was taken away. Um, was that they punched Benedict to the floor. You're bleeding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Honey, oh, careful. Please. Yes, sir, because now he's sort of... Oh, no. I've got to buy it all now. <laughs> OK. Um, Benedict was knocked to the floor with a bleeding in He was crying on the floor, and Father Giuseppe went to help him up, and they've handcuffed him, taken right him away. away, put him in a black limousine, chloroformed him, he woke up in a like a basement. They booted him in the jaw, and he said his jaw was like a, a it's jaw. It's a brutal injury, though. And since there's been, they've cut off all communication with with Benedict, uh, especially from um, us. We said, don't even know oh, that yeah. other people are allowed to communicate. But uh, you were involved in this because you have something to do with the church, or just because you? No, also, no, no. Uh, I, fidelity, I, you know, you are. How do you say? It? Uh, well, what happens? I wrote many, many books. I'll, I'll walk ahead while you explain me. Okay. Yeah. He was, um, I wrote many books, and um, the things I know, mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, the Great Pyramid in Egypt, it's all to do about the Lord. It's no, I, I, you have to speak a little slowly. Ah, the Great <laughs> Pyramid in Egypt. Okay, yes. All to do with the second coming of Jesus. Okay? So many lines. And I explained all that to mm -hmm. the Jews. Um, but also, uh, genetically, I have the most royal bloodline through the British line. And I've told the Queen to get off the throne because I'm more royal than she is. And that's what started it all. That started the police coming after me, the CIA, everybody around the world, the Jews, all hunting me down. Right? They tried to kill me. Right? So by the time Benedict found out about all that, he has to say, why? Right? So then I explained how I can explain how the Bible has secret codes in it. And I revealed the coach to him. And after three days, he said, that's it. He wants me to come to Rome. Right? This is how it all comes about. But in the meantime, he told Francis, which I said, I should now tell Francis, whatever he did. But he did. Because he thought he's a lovely man. He made a mistake. Next thing, they screwed them. Because this is the most important. So this is the end time right now. We are in uh, Revelation, as of next... Uh, <laughs> it's nothing happening. It all works on solar eclipses and lunations and the position of the moon. So you look through it? No, no, you know what I have to And uh, there's a, a solar eclipse occurring on the 10th of May, and that's over Australia. And you measure from that distance to here, to, the, to Rome, to where he was born, and it tells a story. So it's a bit complex for me to tell you now, because it takes a lot of time to understand. But this is what it's all about. Well, he understood, because he's a very, very educated man. He understood the year. After three days, we're talking about Cute. So that's what it's all about. But he made a mistake of coming to Francis. Amazing. Now, the job of trying to make it work out. I think what's going to happen. So you, you think that process. Francis is... Uh, Francis is going to die very shortly, according to your plan. 
And then Benedict will Everybody back. thinks this. Yeah. Well, Everybody Benedict, thinks so this. Thinking, I don't know for the, if they're for the same reasons. Hmm. Um, many many people in. think that he's he's being he's trying to make too much difference. Yeah. And so he's uh, something he that he wants to keep the church poor. He wants he wants to show to keep how to keep the church poor. Yeah. There's a reason for that. And uh, all the others which do not do this. I mean, we see many, uh, we sometimes have had many big lunches with cardinals mm. yes. and yeah. mm. you would. Absolutely. And, uh, and uh, we think, uh, well, maybe I wonder who or how many are going to... Uh, Tolerate. No, uh, do without all this, you know? Yes. Drinking and after, no, I mean, no, no, I no, saw drinking time. really, really a lot. Yes. Yeah. And uh, with Francesco who's saying, oh, I don't want a car, I don't want that, I don't want that. I mean, this Ooh, is a church, nice. must be poor. And so I said, oh, well, not me. Most of the people think it's Ooh. a common Ooh. thing. Uh, they're going to get rid of him in a very short time because I mean, he's going to annoy, bother something up. Yeah, I think he's going to die, but they may kill him. And they've been trying to kill uh, Benedict. But you were saying something like uh, Benedict trusted Francis and... He made a mistake, yeah. And he made a mistake, yeah. yeah. He said to me he's a very Christ-like man. I said, no, he's not. Yeah, yeah. with Francis... He, he wants to keep yeah. the church poor because in the Jesuits, they believe that the poor and suffering people are close to God. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when they walk amongst them, they are close to God. I say, no, 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 no. What Jesus wants is to raise people up. So that they've all got money and they've all got healthy families and they, they live well and are educated. That's what the paradise is coming to the earth. The Lord's Prayer is all about coming to the earth, not dying and going to heaven. But the Lord's Prayer is to say, paradise is coming to the earth and Jesus returns to the earth. But uh, for example, I, I'm, I mean, I'm honest, I'm not in, in it. I'm, I believe in God, but I'm not, how do you say, hypocrite. I don't know to say that in English, you know, those people, oh yes, I believe in God, I'm religious, I'm religious, and I go to church. I do not know. No, no, I'm honest, I mean. No, we know. And actually, actually you, you when I'm desperate, maybe sometimes I, yeah. I pray and ask His help, yeah. but I'm not the one well, who prays every day. The Spirit of God is, if, 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 um, if you're good, lay in the image of God. It's to be with love inside you. And, and love God is and love. compassion. That's it, it's not religion, it's not tradition, it's not the hoo-ha of the church. It is all True. about being good. A compassionate, loving heart is the spirit. Okay, then maybe that sort of, I think it could correspond to me. Yes. But I, but I don't show up, I mean, I don't, you know, go, well, you don't maybe so many church. people go to the church on Sundays. You don't have to. And then they, they're That's really... Like most of those people miss out. <laughs> they are really not nice people. No. And... Uh, I know many stories about yeah. those people. They, you see them in because the you know the country. They must show the country they go to yes. church on Sunday, but then they do yeah, the worst things. It, yeah, even during weeks mm -hmm. and then don't confess it and all the rest of it. And no, it doesn't work that way. No, okay. Uh, so, but this to say, I'm not involved in the thing, so I, I'm actually ignorant mm -hmm. about all this. You know. Mm -hmm. um, That's actually a good way to me. Good thing. Because you're not um, devoured, but you wouldn't believe how many Christians are so devoured by, for example, the Bible itself. It's being manipulated by man. God measures his earth and his temple. The book of Revelation is accurate, Isaiah is accurate, but a lot in between accurate. has been totally, totally manipulated. So that people are so consumed by the words in the book that they I have never miss. read. That's a good That's thing. Good thing. <laughs> it's good a good thing. I have, thing. I have no sort of influence. Mm. I have only what I sort of imagine, mm. actually, because, uh, for example, um, my my mother, mm. uh, she is uh, well, she is Baptist and then Christian, and yes. when we were little, we had to do our First prison. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she, she did bat baptize me, baptize, mm -hmm. yes. baptize me, mm -hmm. and she baptized 
one of my only one of my brothers because he was uh, well they said he's not going to live more yes. than one hour right and so she felt she had to do this yes but she did, didn't baptize the, my second brother mm -hmm. and uh, when we were going to school you know you do religion because mm -hmm. you had to do mm -hmm. the comunione and she said no you're not going to do this mm -hmm. because i think you're too young to understand what religion means mm -hmm. and maybe you could not decide not to be Catholic when you're mm -hmm. old and so I'll just leave it up to you. Mm -hmm. And she did this with me and my brothers. Yes. That I decided to do the communione on my own yes. when I was twenty. Mm -hmm. My other brothers didn't. Mm -hmm. the communion, holy communion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean she left us free to yes. because she said I don't believe that a ten year old yeah child can mm -hmm. un really deeply understand. I mean right. whatever you put in a child you'll be able to fill it in, I mm -hmm. mean, so, and um, I don't know why I got to this, and so she was very free, so all that I have is actually, I did the communione, but it was, you know, when you're old, yes. it's something very sort of yeah. short and concentrated. Well, I, I actually, that, that's interesting, because with the Vatican III that you wrote for, we became a um it covers that, and it's actually what you said just then, that there, there's uh, more or less the basic training of your childhood, and then as adulthood, when people come into the full understanding of then uh, comes the, the baptism and the uh, confirmation and all that. So she did it right, you know, did it right. But um, I, I'm thinking you really appreciate what I've got to do in our college and take a look at each other. And it's, it's the, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay.